Time and Work Part 2 Hi, I'm Daniel Souza and welcome to Aptitude Academy. This is part 2 on lectures on time and work. Let's solve a couple of problems. Problem 1. A can do a certain job in 12 days. B is 60% more efficient than A. How many days does B alone take to do the same job? Okay, now to solve problem 1, you need to know the rule of flip. I've explained this in part 1 of my videos. Alright, now B is said to be 60% more efficient than A. Now how do we understand this? Whenever it's in percentages, let us assign one of them as 100. Now, we are comparing it with A. So let's say A is 100. We don't need to specify whether it's percentages or whatever. Alright, A is 100. Now, B is 60% more efficient. So 60% of 100 plus the initial. So B will be 160. Right? 60 plus 100. Okay. Now, if you boil this down to a ratio, it will be 100 is to 160. Right? 100 is to 160 will be how much? Cancel this. This will be 2 5s up and 2 8s up. So A and B will work in the ratio 5 is to 8. Right? Now, consider this. They have given that A finishes the work in 12 days. So every day, A will be finishing 1 by 12th of the work. This is 5. Now, if you take a cross multiplication, you can say this is um, 5 implies 1 by 12, right? A is 5 and it finishes uh, and it finishes 1 by 12th of the work every day. So B will finish how much every day, right? So now you cross multiply. Let's say this is X. So cross multiply, we will get 5X, right? Cross multiply is equal to 8 into 1 by 12. So if you take 5 below, this gives you x is equal to 8 into 1 by 12 into 1 by 5. Right? Now 4 2s are, 4 3s are. So this is 3 5 15, so 2 by 15. This is the amount of work B finishes every day. So by rule of flip, we have to inverse it to give us the amount of time that B will take. So B will take 15 by 2 days or 7.5. So if B works alone, he will take seven and a half days to complete the work. Let's move to problem number two. Problem two. A and B undertake to do a piece of work for rupees 600. A alone can do it in six days, while B alone can do it in eight days. With the help of C, they finish it in three days. Find the share of each. Now problem two. They said that A and B undertake a work for 600 rupees. If A works alone, he finishes in six days. If B works alone, he finishes in eight days. Now with the help of C, they complete it in three days. Now this does not mean that if C works alone, he, work, he finishes in 3 days. It means that if A, B and C work together, then they finish in 3 days. Now let's write the equation. Okay? Now A takes 6 days to finish a work. So every day he finishes 1 by 6. Similarly, B will finish 1 by 8. This is assuming they are all working together. All right? So A pitches in 1 6th of the work, B pitches in 1 8th of the work and C we don't know. So let's just keep it as 1 by C. But we know that if all 3 work together, they will finish the work in 3 days. So if they finish the work in 3 days, every day they finish 1 by 3. Right? This is your main equation. Now after this is just simple simplification. Alright, so 1 by C, we we'll keep it on this side, shift this to the other side. So 1 by 3, minus 1 by 8, minus 1 by 6. If you take an LCM, this will be 24. Right? This will be 8, or uh, 8 threes are 24, or uh, 6 fours are. So 3, 4, 7, 8 minus 7 is 1. So 1 by 24. This is 1 by C. So C finishes 1 by 24th of the work every day. By rule of flip, if it finishes, if it finishes 1 by 24th of the work every day, C will take 24 days to finish the work. Alright? Now, this is not the answer. They have asked you for the share of the money. Now we know 600 rupees is to be divided between A, B and C. Correct? Now, A does 1 by 6th of the work every day. Right? B does 1 by 8th of the work. And C does 1 by 24th of the work. However, it becomes very hard to distribute the money in these fractions. So what we do is make them whole numbers. Now to make them whole numbers, find the LCM of the denominators and multiply them. So now 6, 8 and 24, the LCM is 24. So multiply completely. Alright? We'll just keep this to the side. Alright, now if you multiply 24 here on top, right? Just multiply 24. This is 1. This is 3. And this is 4. So the ratio is 4 is to 3 is to 1. Alright, so now the ratios are 4 is to 3 is to 1. Right? Now the money has to be distributed in this ratio. So now 4 plus 3 is 7, 7 plus 1 is 8. So now A should get 4 by 8 of it, B should get 3 by 8 and C should get 1 by 8 of 600 rupees. 
So now A share will be 4 by 8 into 60, uh, 600. So this is 4 1s are, 4 2s are, this is 300. Similarly, B should get 3 by 8 of 600 rupees. So 4 2s are, 4 150s are, uh, 2 1s are, 2 75s are. So this is 3 into 75, this is 225. Right? And similarly, C should get 1 by 8 of 600 rupees. Now, 600 divided by 8 is 75. Right, so A should get 300, B should get 225, and C should get 75 rupees. Alright, easy, right? Alright, so this was part two on the lecture on time and work. If you found this video helpful, do like it and subscribe to my channel. I'd also appreciate it if you repost this video on Facebook and tell your friends about it. Thank you. Hey guys, if you have any doubts regarding the problems discussed in this video, or you want me to solve any questions at all, you can reach me on our forums. I've put the link below in the video description. Just head on over there, make an account, it takes like half a minute, and you can discuss all the aptitude you want. I'll solve all your doubts over there. Cheers!